heard you on ESPN Sports Talk 980 yesterday. And, or it was a couple days ago, actually. And I remember you said something that was very striking. You said that you looked at this Washington Wizards team and you believed that they were players who were comfortable with losing. Mm -hmm. That really, it, it just didn't bother them that they were losing. Yeah. And I know earlier this week you were at the Wizards shoot-around practice. Just first, what, what was the mood there now that they fired Coach Flip Saunders, brought in Randy Whitman? Well, I, I think whenever you fire your coach, um, there's, there's two types of reactions. One, there's a little bit of shock and awe from the younger guys who probably haven't been through that. Uh, and then there's like a sense of, uh, of a breath of fresh air. You know, it's a clean slate. Um, whenever you get a new coach, you know, people can say, you know, well, Randy and Flip were friends. Randy has philosophies that are probably different than Flip. He has things that he wanted to do that he couldn't implement because Flip was the head guy. So I'm thinking that there's going to be some changes made. Whether they're subtle or not, uh, we'll see. But I think the biggest thing is, is that now there's a new energy. Um, mm. It's like a fresh Did start. Did you feel that? Yeah, I felt like, you know, being at the shoot-around and seeing the guys, I think they, they're excited. You know, I think um, there's also some anxiety. Mm. Um, because whenever you fire a coach, there's only one reason you do that. The team's not performing. Um, so as a player, you know there's going to be changes made. Um, so now the pressure's on you because you can't blame the coach anymore. Right. Um, so I think you, 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 that's the the one thing I do I do sense is that there is a breath of fresh air. But this is what I wanted to ask you, though, because you talked about players becoming comfortable with losing. Yeah. But I'm thinking, like, if this is your job, mm -hmm. 82 games, it's a long grind. Yeah. Don't all NBA players at some point get not comfortable with losing, but at least calloused against it. And I wanted to ask you specifically, because you played with Michael Jordan mm -hmm. and you played with Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. and you got to put them with Larry Bird of the top three, what we hear are the most competitive guys. Hate to lose. So those guys hated to lose no matter what. They hated losing more than they liked winning. Okay, and you felt it like palpably. No, I heard it, felt it, saw it. It just there wasn't acceptable in any form, in anything though. In anything. In anything. Did you um, do you feel that there's anybody on the Wizards that you think has the potential to be that guy? Right now. Yeah. They haven't shown themselves. Do you have to be the best player on a team to be that guy? I, mean, I know it helps, but do you have to be? No. You don't have to be, but the culture has to reinforce it. You mm -hmm. see, the difference between, uh, you know, I play for the Lakers. Losing is just not acceptable. Like, we got to the playoffs as the eighth seed, and everybody was, like, mad. Mm -hmm. It's just not acceptable. So part of it is the culture. If you go to San Antonio, finishing in eighth, seventh, it's just not a good season. Mm -hmm. So part of it is the expectations that are set in front of you. And because Washington for so long, the expectation has been if we play, if we get to the playoffs, we had a good year, mm -hmm. it allows for the culture to become comfortable with that. You know, so, you know, the guys I play with, just getting to the playoffs wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's the thing when I, when I look at the Wizards, the culture has to be changed in terms of expectations. And so that the guys come in understanding there are guys on our team who've never been in the playoffs. Mm hmm there are guys on our team right now who've never had a winning season. So how can you not become accustomed to it? Because that's right. all you've ever known. 